Hi, my dear students. I am Pravin Kumar, and the subject is corporate administration. Here in this session, we started to discuss regarding the corporate administration. First chapter: Joint Stock Company. Joint Stock Company. इधर ना वो कन्नड़ दली कुडू बंडा वाला संस्थय तो वो संयुक्त बंडा वाला संस्थय अंत करी थी वे सो हियर फर्स्ट वी हैव डिस्कसिंग अबाउट दी इंट्रोडक्शन रिगार्डिंग दी इंट्रोडक्शन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ जायन स्टॉक कंपनी हियर दी इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ जायन स्टॉक कंपनी बिफोर द इंडस्ट्रियल रेवल्यूशन द प्रोपरेटरी एंड पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म्स of business organizations for the most common forms of business organization here this is the most important point we should remember about before the industrial revolution the proprietary and partnership those are the types of business organizations those are types of business organizations so after the industrial revolution the large scale of production is very very essential why because year by year customers needs customers taste customers preferences is increase therefore before industrial revolution the two forms of the business organization gain a more importance that is what we called as first one is the proprietary and the second one is the partnership firms so the first one is the proprietary means sole proprietorship and the second one is the partnership here after the industrial revolution what happens here because of the less capital and less managerial ability skills and managerial ability it is a need to produce large scale of production therefore this is the basic and fundamental disadvantages of the partnership and sole proprietorship so therefore it is a came into existence the joint stock company moreover sole proprietorship and partnership firms suffering the difficulties called as lack of continuity and the unlimited liability this is the two basic disadvantages the sole proprietorship and partnership firm facing so then it leads to a formation of large scale of business organization that is what we called as giant stock company so the disadvantages are lack of this abilities of the sole proprietorship and partnership firms it is came into existence the type of business organization called as joint stock company the type of business organization called as joint stock company andre koodu bandavala samsthaya ondu kiru parichayavanna naavu padkonanta sandarbhadalli kaigarika kranti aada mele bharata deshadalli hechu variyagi illi ಗ್ರಾಹಕರ ಬೇಡಿಕೆಗಳು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಗ್ರಾಹಕರ ಬೇಡಿಕೆಗಳು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆದಂತ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಕೈಗಾರಿಕಾ ಕ್ರಾಂತಿಗಿಂತ ಮುಂಚೆ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಕೆಲವು ವ್ಯವಹಾರ ಒಡೆತನದ ಪ್ರಕಾರಗಳನ್ನು ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಂಡಾಗ ಪ್ರಮುಖವಾಗಿ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ಯಾವ್ದಾವುದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಏಕಸ್ವಾಮ್ಯ ಒಂದು ಅಹ್ ಒಡೆತನ ಅದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಏಕ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಎರಡನೇದು ಪಾಲುದಾರಿಕೆ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳು ಇವೆರಡರಲ್ಲೂ ಸಹ ಪ್ರಮುಖವಾಗಿ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಡಿಸ್ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜಸ್ ಅನಾನುಕೂಲ ಏನು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಲೆಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಬಂಡವಾಳ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತು ಲೆಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜೇರಿಯಲ್ ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ಸ್ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥಾಪನೆಯ ಕೌಶಲ್ಯಗಳು ಕಡಿಮೆ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಏನಾಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಯ್ತು ಗ್ರಾಹಕರ ಬೇಡಿಕೆಗಳು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಯ್ತು ಯಾವಾಗ ಗ್ರಾಹಕರ ಬೇಡಿಕೆಗಳು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಯ್ತು ಬೃಹತ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣದಲ್ಲಿ ಉತ್ಪಾದನೆ ಅನ್ನುವಂಥದ್ರ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆ ಇರ್ತಾ ಹೋಯ್ತು ಆ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆಯನ್ನ ಪೂರೈಸ್ಲಿಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಆದಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಸಂಸ್ಥೆನೆ ನಾವಿಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡು ಬಂಡವಾಳ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಅಥವಾ ಸಂಯುಕ್ತ ಬಂಡವಾಳ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇ
ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಮುಖವಾದಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಅನಾನುಕೂಲಗಳು ಯಾವ್ಯಾವಪ್ಪ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಅನ್ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಲಯಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕಾಗಿರೋದು ಏನಪ್ಪ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಏಕ ಏಕ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳು ಮುಂದುವರಿಯುತ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ವಾ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಯೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಾಲುದಾರಿಕೆ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳು ಹೊಣೆಗಾರಿಕೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇದ್ದಂತ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಆ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳು ಯಶಸ್ವಿ ಆಗೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇವೆರಡೂ ಅನಾನುಕೂಲಗಳು ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಮುಖವಾಗಿ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭವಾದಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಯಾವ್ದಪ್ಪ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಜಯನ್ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಅದನ್ನೇ ನಾವು ಸಂಯುಕ್ತ ಬಂಡವಾಳ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಅಥವಾ ಕೂಡು ಬಂಡವಾಳ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೆಂಟ್ ಬೈ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಕೂಡು ಬಂಡವಾಳ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೆಂಟ್ ಬೈ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಎ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಆರ್ಟಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಲಾ means a giant stock company acts as a artificial person a giant stock company acts as a artificial person it is created by law so according to law means the companies act up 2013 so under the companies act of 2013 each and every company going to registered so instead of old act is companies act of 1956 the amended new act is companies act of 2013 so under the companies act of 2013 each and every company is going to registered and having a separate legal entity having a separate legal entity is nothing but it has a separate identity it has a separate identity means each and every company they are establishing with a legal name legal name for example tata companies accenture companies infosys companies the name of infosys it uh, leads it uh, represents the separate legal entity and with a perpetual succession and a common sale perpetual succession is nothing but the continuation so the continuation and a common seal means each and every joint stock company they are unable to sign each and every document so the representation of the company they are using a common seal consisting of the company name that is the what we called as common seal consisting of the company name and address this is about the meaning of joint stock company once again i am telling you a joint stock company is nothing but it acts as a artificial person it is created under the law having a separate legal entity with a perpetual succession and a common sale that is what we called as a giant stock company andre kudu bandavala sanstha artha enappa ant helidre kudu bandavala sanstheyo ondu krutaka vyakti ಕೃತಕ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಕಾನೂನಿನ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಅಸ್ತಿತ್ವವನ್ನು ಪಡೆದುಕೊಂಡಿರುವಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಕೃತಕ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಇದು ನಿರಂತರವಾದಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಅಸ್ತಿತ್ವವನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿರುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತು ತನ್ನದೇ ಆದಂತಹ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಮುದ್ರೆಯನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿರುತ್ತೆ ಇಂತಹ ಕಂಪನಿಯನ್ನು ನಾವು ಕೂಡು ಬಂಡವಾಳ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಅಥವಾ ಸಂಯುಕ್ತ ಬಂಡವಾಳ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಕರಿತೀವಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ definition of giant stock company next concept we are moving on definition of giant stock company here the definition given by henry the definition given by the henry so what definition he given what tells us so according to henry defines a giant stock company is nothing but as an incorporated association which is an artificial person created by law having a separate legal entity with a perpetual succession and a common seal so this definition is given by the henry so according to henry tells us so it is a incorporated association incorporated is nothing but the word incorporated is nothing but it is a registered company 
it is a registered association so here it is a registered association which acts as an artificial person created by law it acts as a artificial person created by law registered under the companies act having the separate identity with a perpetual succession is nothing but having a continuity they are not stopping only one year two years the span of the the span or continuation of the company is keeps on goes means nirantaravadanta astitva anna vandirutte continuation aagtane irutte so maybe 10 10 years 20 years 30 years the binding up of the company is uh, needs the law rules and regulations andre idra nirantaravada astitva anna irutte and it has a common seal it has a common seal is nothing but the identity is very very essential the identity is given by the common seal common seal representing the name and address of the company ille definition anna kodtare henry avaru ondu vyakhya anna kodtare avaru vyakhya prakara yena paanthare ಈ ಒಂದು ಕೂಡು ಬಂಡವಾಳ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಅನ್ನುವಂಥದ್ದು ಇದು ನೋಂದಣಿಯಾದಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ನೋಂದಣಿಯಾದಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಕೃತಕ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಇದು ಕಾನೂನಿನ ಅಸ್ತಿತ್ವದ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತು ನಿರಂತರವಾದ ಅಸ್ತಿತ್ವವನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿರುತ್ತೆ ಇದರದೇ ಆದಂತಹ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಮುದ್ರೆಯನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿರುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಮುದ್ರೆ ಅನ್ನುವಂಥದ್ದು ಕಂಪನಿಯ ಹೆಸರು ಮತ್ತು ಕಂಪನಿಯ ಸಂಪೂರ್ಣ ವಿಳಾಸವನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿರುತ್ತೆ ಇದನ್ನು ನಾವೇನಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಪ್ಪ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಕೂಡು ಬಂಡವಾಳ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಅಥವಾ ಸಂಯುಕ್ತ ಬಂಡವಾಳ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಈ ಒಂದು ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯೆಯನ್ನ ನೀಡಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥವ್ರು ಹೆನ್ರಿ ಹೆನ್ರಿ ಅವರು ಈ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯೆಯನ್ನ ನೀಡಿರ್ತಾರೆ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಕುಡು ಬಂಡವಾಳ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಗುಣಲಕ್ಷಣಗಳು ಸೊ ಈಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಕಾರ್ಪೊರೇಟೆಡ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಕಾರ್ಪೊರೇಟೆಡ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ and the third one is the artificial person third one is the artificial person and the fourth one is the separate legal entity fourth one is the separate legal entity and the fifth one is the perpetual succession fifth one is the perpetual succession and the sixth one is the common seal sixth one is the common seal and the seventh one is limited liability seventh one is limited liability and the eighth one is number of members number of members and ninth one is one share one vote one share one vote and the tenth one is transferability of shares transferability of shares there is a 10 characteristic features of giant stock company among these 10 characteristic features of giant stock company the first one is association of persons association of persons means giant stock company is an a voluntary association having the so many persons to establish a giant stock company minimum persons is 7 and maximum persons is unlimited whereas uh, it may be uh, different in the public and private company but moreover it is a association of persons andre first one characteristic feature alli association of persons is the thing that when we are started the giant stock company it is a voluntary association it is needed 
two persons to start the giant stack company so with third persons we can't start it the giant stack company it is very very essential to start the giant stack company consisting of the members of the organization therefore the first characteristic future tells us it is a association of person and the second characteristic future is incorporated association here incorporated association is nothing that it is a company established by law and it is a company established by law and can exist till such time as it is recognized by law it is very very essential so each and every giant stock company is started or incorporated under the companies act of 2013 under the companies act it is very very essential or necessary it must and should registered registered company or incorporated company it is very very essential we should registered under the companies act of 2013 so eradane guna lakshanadalli namge heltakkantade enu ಈ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ಬಂಡವಾಳ ಕುಡು ಬಂಡವಾಳ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯನ್ನು ಸಹ ಕಂಪನಿಗಳ ಕಾಯ್ದೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಂದಣಿ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಕಂಪನಿಗಳ ಕಾಯ್ದೆ ಎರಡ್ ಸಾವಿರದ ಹದಿಮೂರರಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಂದು ಕಾಯ್ದೆ ಕಂಪನಿಗಳನ್ನು ಸಹ ಇದರ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಎ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಎ ಪ್ರೈವೇಟ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಈಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಕಂಪನಿ ಇಸ್ ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟರ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ಕಾರ್ಪೊರೇಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದಿ ಕಂಪನೀಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆ giant stack company and next we are moving on the third third characteristic future of giant stack company here artificial person a giant stack company is nothing but it is a artificial person it acts as a artificial person a company is an artificial person created by law here the company consists of two members minimum two members is required to establish the company or the organization so the third characteristic future tells us the artificial person is nothing but a giant stock company acts as an artificial person it created under the law it is called as a artificial person artificial person means it is not having a natural birth so it not having a natural birth like the humans so it is a artificial birth and it is established the members of the organization so either they may be public members either they may be public company members either they may be private company members they establishing the giant stock company it is invisible we can't see it it is intangible we can't touch it is immortal so we can't see in touch or smell so it acts in their activities therefore it is called as an artificial person that has an identity only in the eyes of law in the eyes of law is nothing but so it is registered under the companies act but it has the identity in the companies act but it not has a so in visibility it does not has a tangibility so therefore it is called as an artificial person after that the next characteristic future is separate legal entity the next characteristic future is separate legal entity here according to the companies act it has a separate legal entity as per the law the acquires a separate legal entity after it is incorporated which is distinct from the entry of its members distinct from the entry of its members it has a separate legal entity means the company is separate and the members of the company is separate they are not involving each and every activity is running in the name of the company therefore as a result of the companies act each and every profit each and every loss is shared in the name of the joint stock company as a result a company can enter into a contract with any its members by property in its names borrow or lend money 
open bank account or file a suit in a court of law against the third party each and every activities is done in the name of the company only therefore company having a separate legal entity andre kanunina ना वो अस्तिव प्रत्येक कानून अस्तिव पड़क या कंपनियल मेबर्स बेरे आगे कंपनिया वो आक्टिविटी नोड़कू कंपनी हसन कंपनिय लाभ हंचकोलो नष्ट हंचकोलोद चटविके सह कंपनिया हर नड़ीता होते सो देर फॉर् वाट वि कॉल एस ए सप्रेट लीगल एंटिटी इज नथिंग बट कंपनी इज डिफ्रेंट and the members of the company is different activities is running in the name of the company not in the name of members andre illi company nadiyuvanta ondu shaili enagirutappa ante andre adara hesaralli nadithakkanta ondu activities agirutte andre illi kelavond activities anna heltare nodi yen activities anta helidre a company can run a company can enter into a contract with any of its members by the property in its name सो प्रापर्टी पर्चे सदर्भ कंपनी हर प्रापर्टी पर्चे बारो आर् लिंग दि मनी बारो आर् लिंग दि मनी मीन दे आर् बारो इन दि शार्ट टर्म फंड दि लांग टर्म फंड आर् लिंग दि मनी टू एनी थर्ड पार्टी सो इट दी आक्टिविटी रनिंग अंडर दि कंपनी नेम इफ दे आर् ओपनिंग ए बैंक अकौंट बैंक अकौंट ओपन अस्टे फॉर एक्सापल कॉलेज न आक्टिविटी रन अस्टे आ कॉलेज न नेम अल ना फॉर एक्सापल बैंक फॉर एक्सापल विजय बैंक एस बी एम सो एस बी एम बैंक आगे स्टेट बैंक आफ् इंडिया आगे स्टेट बैंक आफ् इंडिया ऐन सो ईच अंड एव्री आक्टिविटी इज रि अंडर दि नेम आफ स्टेट बैंक आफ् इंडिया सो दे क्या फेल ए सूट इन दि कॉर्ट एगेस्ट दि कंपनी आर एगेस्ट दि थर्ड पार्टी इले ना कंप्लेट फेल अस्टे सो कंपनिया नेम कंप्लेट फेल सो देर फोर This is the another characteristic feature of the giant stock company called as separate legal entity. And the next characteristic feature here, perpetual succession. Perpetual succession is nothing but a giant stock company existence is not dependent on that of its shareholders. Are the directors, the shareholders, or the directors may change from time to time, but the company goes on. The company continuation is not depending upon its members. For example, in the sole proprietorship, in the sole proprietorship, a single person is running, managing, administrating each and every activity of the organization. Whereas when we are comparing to the giant stock company, giant stock company having the so many members of the organization. If one member is dead, if one member is lunacy, if one member is having any other problems to continue in the company, it is not affected by the company. There is no any effect is done in the company's activities. If one person is moving towards another side so it does not having any adverse effect into the activities of the company therefore company keeps on continuous if one shareholder is changing if one director is changing it is not having any changes in the activities of the company andre illi nirantaravadanta ondu astitva nirantaravadanta astitva antare company yo tanna ondu sherudharara अथवा निर्देशक मेले अवलबित आगे शेरदार कंपनिया सदर्भ आगे अथवा निर्देशक कंपनिया सदर्भ आगे ये निर्देशक अथवा शेरदार कंपनिया मत शेरदार अद्क जॉन आगे मत निर्देशक अद्क जॉन आगे हीगारी कंपनिया अस्तिव निरंतर मुंदरता होते सो गुण लक्षण सह कुड़ बंडवा संस्थे अथवा संयुक्त बंडवा संस्थे सो दिस पर्पेचुअल सक्सेशन अगेन ऐम रिपीटिंग यू पर्पेचुअल सक्सेशन इज नथिंग बट द कंटिन्यूशन आफ दि कंपनी द कंटिन्यूशन आफ दि कंपनी इज नीड नाट डिपेडिंग अपॉन दि शेर होलडर् दि डेरेक्टर्स आफ दि कंपनी दे आर् चेंजिंग वन अगेन अनदर मेबर इज मूविंग कंपनी आक्टिविटी 
and the next characteristic feature is common seal the next characteristic feature is common seal samanya mudre here the common seal what this characteristic feature tells us a company is an artificial person and as such it cannot put its signature this is very very important point we keep in mind so your company cannot put a, its signature on documents therefore company is representing with the common seal common seal representing the company's name and address therefore it is mandatory under the law companies act or the law that every company must have a common seal with its name with its name engraved upon it engraved means they are putting the name and address of the company this is what we called as a common seal common seal is nothing but it's a name and address of the company so representing the common seal after that the next one is limited liability the next one is limited liability here what is meant by limited liability here what is meant by limited liability the liability of the shareholders of the company the liability of the shareholders of the company is limited in case of financial loss to the company the liability of the shareholders is limited to the amount unpaid on their shares and uh, their personal property cannot be used to pay the company debts here limited liability idanna now kannadalli niyamita honegarike ant helibittu karithivi the limited liability responsibility in the sole proprietorship the responsibility of the person is unlimited whereas when we are comparing to the giant stock company the liability of the shareholders of the company is limited means what happens here each and every shareholder in case of the financial loss anakasina nashta anubhavisthanta sandarbhadalli they need not to sell their personal property they need not to sell their uh, land or uh, any type of building to solve the debts of the company companya salagalanna thirsodukkage avaru avara ondu sthira mattu chara aasthigalanna avaru marata maduvantaha ondu avashyakate illa this is what we called as the liability of the shareholders the liability of the shareholders in the giant stock company is the limited so this is also another characteristic feature of the giant stock company and next we are moving on number of members number of members is also another characteristic feature of the giant stock company so kudu bandavala sansthayalli sadasyara sankhe eshtu irbekagutte here in the giant stock company the minimum number of members in the public company there is a two types of company first one is the public company and the second one is the private company in the public company the minimum number of member is seven and the maximum number of is unlimited here in the private company the minimum number of members and uh, the in the private company the minimum number of members is 2 and the maximum is 50 so this is also another characteristic feature of the giant stock company and next we are moving on the another characteristic feature here one share one vote here one share one vote here it is also another characteristic feature one share one vote it is a principle of each and every giant stock company if any person having one share he can vote only one voting power is having in the giant stock company this is the another characteristic feature of the giant stock company ondu mata ondu sheru ondu mata illi navu ee ondu prathiyondu sheru dararigunu saha nilirthivi and the last characteristic feature here transferability of the shares share gala vargavane here in the uh, sole proprietorship we are unable to transfer the shares 
when we are comparing to the joint stock company it is very easy to transfer the shares the capital of a company is made up of shares the capital of a company is made up of shares the definite value and is contributed by the shareholders according to the section 2 of the companies act of 1956 gives an opportunity to freely transfer their shares and the selling to the another person in any stock exchanges of india in any stock exchanges of india they can easily transfer their shares from one person to another person andre share gala vargavane annantadu illi atyanta sulabhavagi share galanna obbarinda mattobarige vargavane madabodagide iddu yavudralli antheldre koodu bandavala samsthayalli navu atyanta sulabhavagi share galanna obba vyaktiyinda mattobba vyaktige vargavane maartta hoktivi these are all the characteristic features of the jasta company once again i am reporting repeating you the first one is the association of person the first one is the association of person and the second one is the incorporated association and the third one is the artificial person and the fourth one is the separate legal entity and the fifth one is the perpetual succession then sixth one is the common seal and the seventh one is the limited liability and the eighth one is the number of members and the ninth one is the one share one vote and the tenth one is the transferability of shares